Hey everybody, it's another day. Brutus is sleeping. Brutus! Hi! Hi buddies! Hi! Sophie's all riled up because I, I just yelled back to Josh that Donald Trump got the Nevada caucus and now she won't stop growling. Donald Trump? Sophie, it's Donald Trump. Trump? <laughs> Somebody's not a fan, Sophie girl. <laughs> anyway, we are um, finally able to leave the house today because the weather has cleared up. It is better than it was yesterday because all the tornadoes and all that stuff. Um, I've got my hair slightly curled and just put this thing on. And then I've got this oversized sweater because after the storms, it got really cold here. Um, long sleeve shirt. And then I've got on a jean skirt. And then these, uh, I've got these like stockings on. <laughs> Sophie. Okay, this is like the worst video angle ever. Stock these stockings and the big socks and then my um, riding boots. And I'm dressed up pretty, pretty warm. So we are um, going to run some errands today. We have to pick up some stuff for the church. Tonight we're actually, um, we have a special little potluck planned out at one of the church members' houses. So we get to get food and we're going to do a little Bible study. So I'm excited for that. And then... Um, Let's see what else is going on today. I've you your guys' comments on the last video about like ideas for the youth group and or uh, for youth leadership and all that have been excellent. And so I'm gonna be working on my outline. Um, I've been thinking about it a lot, but I actually need to put an outline together, and um, I'll probably do that um, either tonight or tomorrow. But I wanted to run that by all of you because once I get it together, I want to tell you all about it too. I'm making Josh be my cameraman because I just I get tired of holding the camera all the time. You guys probably aren't used to seeing me from like this far away. Like, look, I have a body. <laughs> I need to get I need to get platters because I'm going to be making desserts and giving them to people, and I don't want to have to like give out my dishes. So I'm at the Dollar Tree just buying cheap stuff. So, let's see. Oh, look at these. That's nifty. I don't have to worry about getting like. I wish I had some of these smaller things. I wish I had a GoPro attached to my forehead. <laughs> that would be great. That would be really great. Do you need anything from here? No. Is Sophie anything? I mean, I'll go look at the dog stuff, but she threw up the last thing I bought her from here. <laughs> Man, these are just a dollar? That's pretty cool. Stop being surprised by the prices at the Dollar Tree. Do you remember like the first <laughs> Dollar Tree experience? Like the first time you ever went into one? It like... wasn't that big of a deal to me. Because really? that was my life growing up. Oh really? Just dollar stores and That's yard it. sales. And... The first time I went into one, I was just like blown away. I was like, wait, everything's a dollar? I, I, I'm sure that the, the people get annoyed too. The, the cash register people or the employees just because it you have those annoying people that's like, how much is stuff, you know? Like, you know you have that person. Yeah, it's you. It is me. Why are you here and what are you doing? Did you get the um, stuff I said? Okay. Let's see. He got markers. Okay, so I need to find outlet covers and safety cover thingies for the nursery because I realized the church nursery has uh, little kids in it and none of the outlet covers are covered up with like the little safety things. So I was like, I might wanna get some of those. So we're here at Walmart again. Uh, let's see, where do I need to go? I need to stop talking and actually look at what I'm doing, huh? Back in the car again. We sp I spent way too much time sitting in this car waiting on you. It's super windy, so I had this on just to keep my hair kind of in place, but the wind is so powerful that it keeps messing it all up. Um, and uh, anyway, we, okay, so I just got done like trying to explain to Joshua that, and I didn't get it on video, but okay, Walmart has, it's like this pre-cooked meal, but it's not like a frozen bag meal. It is the actual market, like the market side deli. They prepare like um, pooled, um, like, a uh, pork chop, like a pork chop, and there was a one. Pulled pork chop. Uh, sorry, and there was what pulled, pulled pork. pork chop? There was pulled pork, and then there so was it's one. Pulled pork with bones in it. So it's just Okay, so it was a pork chop, and then there was another one that was pulled pork, uh -huh. and it's a complete family meal, and it's all cooked, and it has like the vet, like one. Okay, the pork chop had rice and like potatoes, and it was all like. Well, why don't you tell them the one you opened up with for me? <laughs> okay, the one okay. that was kind of strange was a meatloaf. That's not how you said it. You said they had meatloaf, and you just boil it. And I'm like, 
Boiled meatloaf? <laughs> You're trying to sell me a $13 boiled meatloaf? It looks so boiled good. Meatloaf. Okay, I don't understand how that, but I think what it is is they cook I, the meal, they flash freeze it, and then you boil it. You boil the meatloaf. <laughs> you boil it, but it's in a bag. No. It's no, in a bag, no. and you boil it to heat it up, and then it's ready. No. They, boiled meatloaf. It's not boiled like, okay. I can get a pizza. <sighs> I can get chimichangas. It so Good. You want me to get boiled meatloaf? Babe, it's it's in a bag. They flash freeze it in the oh, bag, I'm and sorry. then you boil it that in the bag. That makes it sound so much more appetizing. Boiled meatloaf in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> it did it, guys. It looks so good. But next time we go grocery shopping, we are going to try it. I didn't get it this time. This time, um, I'm super hungry. And normally, like normally, we do our big breakfast thing. But I skipped breakfast this morning because I had, I, had um, I took my plexus, and then I also had a cup of coffee. And when I drink coffee, I it like fills me up. So now, Josh isn't that hungry because he ate a big breakfast and I did and so I got a quick meal and I got this Zataran, Zataran's creamy Cajun style pasta and chicken and um, it was this or the boiled meatloaf and I was really contemplating between the two <laughs> but I decided to go with that but listen it only takes like 13 minutes and it's already pre-cooked and it looked like real like a real home-cooked meal all flash frozen in a bag and I just okay. can't let look. me lay this out there for you there we it's go not ready it's meatloaf in a bag that you have to boil it's $13, and it's from the specialty delicacy deli of Walmart. We're and you're trying to sell me on this. We're trying it next time. I can go, I can call up the Mexican restaurant, say I want the chicken chimichanga dinner, the small cheese dip. It's ready in three minutes. It's delicious, and I take it home, and I eat it, and I don't have but, to boil anything in a bag. <laughs> I want to try it. We're going to try it. So, um, okay, today is Wednesday, and then um, on so we have, okay, so we'll go to our little Bible study. Oh, tonight we get Dickies. I forgot. I'm so excited. I don't know. Like, we didn't have Dickies up north, but it's a barbecue place. And um, I've, I only eat it a few times, but it's like their pulled pork is so good. Because they boil it. Be quiet. Maybe they do boil it. Um, Maybe that's how you... Oh, joke's on you now. I mean, I think it's smoked. Anyway, so we get to have Dickies tonight and then do a little Bible study and um I don't know, I kinda planted the seeds of crawfish on Sunday. We're not gonna show up and have crawfish. What look at that. Um so Hey, if they got crawfish, you're gonna go home, you're gonna complain? Go Listen, you I was boil telling crawfish. a story. I saw that story. sounds good. So boil today some crawfish. today's Wednesday and then we'll do that and then Thursday we have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, church on Sunday. Okay, so I have three days to completely prepare for next week because on Monday, next Monday, we are leaving um, to drive uh, up to Jeffersonville, Indiana, and um, there's our church is doing a convention up there, an international church. It's a really big deal. Well, on Monday, we'll drive up, and then on Tuesday morning, I'm going to wake up. I need to get a rental car. I need to reserve that. And then I'm going to take the rental car and drive it over to Ohio to see my family for about two or three days. Um, and then I'm going to have to drive back, catch the tail end of the convention. And whenever we go up north, we have so many people that we have to see that what we want to see, like friends so and family. Popular. So popular. Fabulous. Um, no, it's just like they're friends and family. Like I, I want to see them. I want to see them. And my friend Kristen, it's going to be uh, her 27th birthday. And um, I want to be there for that. And then... Kendra just had a birthday, my little niece Kendra, and I want to grab her a little present um, to take over there. And then I get to meet with Lauren. You all know Lauren from my vlogs earlier uh, in the fall. And so I can see her and anyway, and my grandma. So I'll be vlogging that, but I was just saying all that to say that I need, um, I have three days to pack. And you know, I used to be like a really good planner, like, and I would pack like days and like a week ahead, but I've gotten into a really bad habit now of waiting to the last, last minute. So I am basically explaining all this to tell myself that this, these next three days, I need to focus on packing, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be kind of hard to pack for because the weather is gonna be going from like pretty warm to really cold, and then uh, we have church services, and I need like casual clothes. So I just like basically need to pack the entire wardrobe, and we're taking Sophie with us. So I. Uh, she's always like kind of not like a burden but it just like you have to think extra for her and we need to figure out what we're doing with brutus just leave him outside <laughs> we can't leave him outside for a week well he, he's got pretty good at catching mice he'll be fine yeah we okay. have a pond he can drink from he, so he's not gonna run out of water <laughs> stop it he's joking you guys we don't do that with our animals um at least we don't tell youtube we do it <laughs> we don't do it that's like so mean i just don't want to throw him outside he'll get lonely and go look for another home to live with like he's a pretty affectionate well, that's cat. why you got to put him some food out so he knows where to come back to <sighs> whatever all right well we are getting ready actually Listen, i think if we did our that, house 
Robbie and Donna would like be mad. They would come kidnap him. Yeah, they would. Look, when we have to do a UE and then get over on the shoulder because we live right off the highway, like that. And people probably always wonder, what in the world are they doing? And then we drive down this driveway and you think like, man, a house is right off the highway. That must suck. But look, oh. <laughs> we come back here. We've got all this private land and um, a pond and look at that big old backyard. You all have seen this. I've showed too many times. But seriously, it's like this little this little um, oasis just right off the highway. And we're seriously like less than five minutes down the road or up the road from Walmart. And I'm so excited now to eat my Cajun style uh, pasta stuff. And got some stuff for the church. It's just nice to get out of the house. We were so stir crazy yesterday from the storms. We couldn't leave. And I have, oh, hey, can you grab the bag from the Dollar Tree? It's in the back seat, please. It's time to see Sophie, girl. Good girl. There we go. Um, my okay. My camera thing is actually right there, and so I try to look at it. But I hold the way that I hold my phone. It's up there, and I always like to look over here to make sure that I'm not outside of the frame. So if you ever wonder why I don't make very good eye contact with with the camera, that's why. Because I'm always checking to make sure that I'm in that frame. I don't know why I wanted to tell you that, but just so you know. Sophie's home? Where's Sophie? Hello? Hi! Don't even care about mommy. Runs right on by me. I got Sophie a toy. So, oh yeah, we, we found a, a little toy at the Dollar Tree. Brutus! So, and it was actually really cool. Josh found it and it's a, um, it has a water bottle inside of a little animal, and um, it, so it makes the, the noise of like the crackling water bottle, which Sophie loves. And whenever we leave the water bottles laying around the house, she goes and chews them. So um, it will, she'll actually have an actual toy to do it with. What daddy get you? What's this? What's this? This is my good words. Is it too big for her? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm Brutus, excited. This for you. All the Brutus get. Yeah, this is why we don't buy him things. He could care less. Absolutely care less about toys. We just got home from the Bible study little fellowship, but we had such a good time. I didn't really get any footage um, because we were just focused on fellowshipping with everyone and it was really fun. We had some amazing food, got some leftovers and um, we had a Bible study and Josh preached a good lesson and I am going to put on my PJs um, and sit down and go over some comments and maybe work on my outline for the, um, the retreat, the convention thing that we're doing. <laughs> What'd she do? She stole Brutus. <gasps> she stole Brutus's chicken. Sophia. All right. But, um, I'm going to go ahead and sign off tonight. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. We will see you tomorrow. God bless you.